so in this video uh, we will see about uh, object functions in oracle fusion cloud groovy so uh, so basically what object function means uh, so we will have a, a for each object uh, we we can we can write object functions uh, and for that particular um, object so so first of all object function means it is it, it will be uh, it will be related to one particular uh, object context context so uh, whatever fields or objects right so we should we should use uh, in that particular uh, object context context and when uh, we will use object functions means uh, if we want to use uh, some reusable code if you want to uh, uh, repeatedly use the same piece of code so then we can create an object function and we can put that common or repeated code in 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 an object function and then we can use wherever we want in this particular object for example uh, in in last uh, session like on uh, while uh, we're talking about triggers so we have used a script called age calculation so here if we observe so there is some common uh, script right so there is a common uh, script so where uh, we will use uh, the, the calculations everything is same but only the difference is the condition between uh, the uh, the between the uh, object trigger and uh, even uh, for the uh, um, field trigger so suppose uh, in this uh, uh, the same code so if i want if i want on two different events so so this code is on before update right the same calculation we need uh, on before uh, create as well so so how we will do usually uh, we will create before insert okay and then So here, uh, so the same script we can we can we can put, but um, maybe uh, we don't need uh, this particular um, condition. Okay, is attribute change it of data birth is not required, uh, and also uh, if you want to put some additional conditions, um, for example, um, if if contact first name is available then only trigger right so okay so we'll put uh, the whole logic based on this field based on this condition Okay, so now, uh, so this piece of code is common uh, in before insert and in before update. We don't need to write or uh, the entire code. Uh, so entire code again. So for this, uh, there is an option uh, using object function. Okay, so this is the normal Pay without object functions okay so now uh, we'll create an object function
will say age calculation. Object function name is age calculation. And here we have a op we have uh, some options uh, uh, returns. So returns means uh, if if we use void, so it doesn't return anything. Some uh, code it will execute here, and it will perform any updates, uh, right? So if any set attribute, so it will perform and it will uh, it will end within this object function. It doesn't return anything. But if we choose uh, something returns a string, so it 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 will return a string value. We need to return uh, the output as uh, output as string. So we'll choose integer or long. So since we are we need to return the age, and it object functions can take a parameter also so here we'll define a parameter parameter means uh, the inputs so for uh, for this particular script we will consider a uh, date of birth Th this 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 may not be the api name but um it's a, just a variable uh, of type date date okay so now we'll uh, we'll put the script here okay so here uh, so this is our common script right so here the input is a uh, date of birth variable so instead of API name, we are just using it. So this this may not be the API name. So I am using uh, the small d here, and uh, it runs this code, and then uh, finally it returns. It should return some uh, long uh, some number, right? So here we need to use return. Uh, and then we instead of set attribute, we are just returning it. And here also we'll will use if we use a uh, void here, we can use the set attribute itself or the uh, the values we can set here itself. But uh, in our case, we need to return the age, and then we we will use uh, in the object function itself. So. So this is just an option. Uh, so we can either return it uh, to return or we can use void and then we can set here itself. So it depends on the scenario. And validate it. We are just converting uh, the big decimal number to long and then we are saving it. Okay, so now we'll go to before insert script and we have already a uh, uh, code for this part, right? So we'll remove this part and uh, so now we need to call that object function just now we created. So for that we should go to functions and then go to row 
and here we here we can see the object functions for this particular contact object so whatever object we have uh, we are in right so the respective object functions will display here yeah so after selecting it uh, we can insert here it will insert like this if any parameters we have defined for this object function it will show here with the type with the data type so here we need to pass the date right so the uh, field name is date of birth okay so this will return the age So in age variable, we can get the value. And this age, maybe we can set to uh, the, the field, field called age underscore C. Okay. So like this, uh, we can, uh, we can simply reuse the uh, object function. Now we'll execute it. Same way we'll uh, do an update before update. So here also we'll replace Uh, note uh, so we the conditions only the conditions we can keep different but the logic is same in before update we may have different condition but in on update or on create we may have different condition but uh, the the calculation and uh, setting is same So where we can call this object functions means uh, wherever Groovy, uh, so this supports right this object in this particular object uh, context, wherever the Groovy supports like uh, required expressions, page layouts, uh, server scripts. Uh, so everywhere, uh, page page level conditions. So wherever uh, in this object, wherever it supports Groovy. So we, we can use this uh, existing object functions. Okay, so now we'll test the changes. So now it should work as expected on create and all on update. Now we are testing on update.
Yeah. So it calculated. So like this, uh, the object functions can be used. Uh, and then, uh, so the, the main purpose of using object functions is to, to use the repeated code, to reuse the same code and uh, to split the scenarios. So if we have uh, 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 some larger uh, functions, right? Means uh, scenarios are more and the code length will be more. So then what we can use is uh, we can define one trigger for each event and then each scenario or each part of uh, 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 script right so we can create an individual object function and then we can we can just call here example uh, that this is age calculation so there will be one 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 object function we will we will create separately and then we will call we will we'll call directly here like this and then uh, so then um, create contact in uh, some other system, okay. Maybe EBS. Okay. So this is one script and then uh, update. update some some fields then uh, any validations so validations we can keep uh, at the uh, at the top so now uh, so for each of this scenario we'll create a individual object function and then we will just call that object function here. Same like this. So uh, within one trigger, we can uh, we can manage all the uh, uh, codes. If you want to just disable uh, one part of code, we can just use that one line uh, to comment out that code. And we don't need to, if we have, uh, suppose if we have uh, for phone email and val email and phone validation, we have some 100 lines code. We don't need to comment that 100 lines of code. We can just comment this object for calling this object function. So the entire code will be commented. So like this, uh, we can use object functions to limit, uh, uh, to limit the code and also for, uh, uh, for reading or to understand uh, or debugging easily. Okay, so that, that's all about uh, object function. So this will be available uh, uh, even for custom objects. So the same way.